Really? Are you yeah. still on break? <laughs> what? Oh yeah. my gosh. I go back on the 25th. Oh my goodness. Oh Wait, are we recording right now? Yeah, we yeah. are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, goodness gracious. Yeah, okay, this is a, a really long break. Jeez. All right, well. This, this will be a soft, it'll be like a soft start. We don't have to like okay. do anything big, but this is uh, episode 23. Three, 23 of the podcast. What did we say? When it was the last time we discovered. Uh, we're a, coming at you live from room 505. Yeah, there we go. All right, we today we do have a guest with us. His name is Parker Nagengast. What's good? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Parker, can you give us a brief introduction of brief yourself? Brief synopsis. And then we'll get back to your insane, abs- absurdly, insane long. Yeah, absurdly long break. All right, so I'm a sophomore studying actuarial sciences at Drake University. I know Ben and Ethan from high school. They graduated with my brother. Drew was on the podcast uh-huh. earlier, and I'm yeah. his older brother, so... We don't sound similar, but if it was a video <laughs> podcast, you would probably think oh, yeah. we were the same person in the thumbnail. Yeah, yeah, there are definitely, for sure, I know I've mistaken him for Yeah, whenever, you and vice when I went versa. up to Creighton for the JPEG Mafia concert, everybody was like, hey, Parker. The people on G5 were like, hey, Parker, because I guess they knew me beforehand, but everybody else was like, oh, what's up, Drew? Oh. Like, Actually, I'm his older brother, but it's nice to meet you. And, That's and funny. they're like, oh, Drew's telling us that he was the older brother. <laughs> <laughs> how was uh, that? How was J- JPEG Mafia? Oh, it was a ton of fun. Man, I wish the I opener that. was... Pretty good compared to most openers we've seen at hip hop shows. Who was um, the opener? His name was like Butch Dawson. I don't um, think I know him. He's been in like Instagram posts with JPEG, but I've never listened to his ins- his How? like own music. Um, but no, the show was crazy. He staged dope a few times. Whoa. Um, How does he get back? That's what I've never understood. They, the they, unanswered they, question. They they, they they like push him back to the stage. Yeah. How does he get or back he just, if, like, they, if back they take up. him away? Or so so what happens is what I've seen in all the videos is that it's they never take him up towards the back. They it's always constantly pushing back towards the stage. Yeah, because everybody's oh. pushing towards the stage anyway, so yeah. it would be pretty hard for him to hmm. go mm-hmm. okay. backwards. Okay. No, and then like if sometimes he just like gets set down and climbs back up. Okay. Like right. when he performed Baby That's kinda... Bleeding, like he Aww. just jumped into the pit and then performed it. So that was, was really it, Did you feel safe? Awesome. Um, oh, it wasn't that big of a crowd at all. Like, I never really feel that unsafe at concerts. Like, people almost pick you up if you fall down. Oh, so really <laughs> okay. Like, yeah. Don't really have to, like, worry about falling okay. down. Okay, okay, that's cool. And plus, like, I'm a tall dude. I'm not too worried about yeah. it. Yeah. I kind of forgot. You, have, you and Drew have went to... A couple. Show- what are all the show like? The, all the shows you guys have gone to? Because JPEG Mafia definitely isn't like the first. Like you guys have gone. No, to No, we've gone to quite a few. So I think Cage of the Elephant was like the first real one where like we weren't sitting down mm-hmm. like in seats at an arena. Um, we saw the weekend with Rolf. This is not in chronological order, by the way. Okay. We saw Chance the Rapper. We saw Logic, which. It's that? almost embarrassing to say now, but he was. It was, like after, <laughs> he, it was after he dropped everybody, but before he started dropping like the mid stuff. Supermarket. Okay. Have I said <laughs> supermarket <laughs> soundtrack yeah. live? Have I said? I don't think I've said on the podcast how much I don't like. I do. I do not like the logic. Did you like him Very back? Much. Like there's back no. In I, the Incredible uh, True Story era, and then like no, because I didn't, I didn't era. listen, I didn't listen oh. to him at that point, and, so and I, then like it I really like, ruined, got, he's ruined now. Like you can't, <laughs> you can't, you can't like go from supermarket soundtrack to under pressure and be like, okay, this is okay. actually good because you're just gonna see him as the supermarket soundtrack guy, right? Which it's is obvi- right, <laughs> <laughs> which is obviously perfectly justifiable. <laughs> No, um, let's see who else. We saw Travis Scott live. That was oh, that, that was, was that a ton cool? of fun. Yeah. Was that the one with the? Uh, I remember you and Drew telling stories of the they uh, balconies. Like, they there was like a we- it wasn't it like a weird theater sort of thing where there oh was no like that a- was when we saw Smoke Perp where there were like oh Smoke uh, yeah, Perp okay where okay. there was there was a balcony and he had his hype men just like chilling out like on one of the balconies when the first DJ was playing and then like if the song wasn't good he would like motion for the <laughs> DJ to skip oh, or they would funny. like dance around if the crowd was having a good time and then like once Smoke Perp came out when he was performing Adi 
One of his dudes climbed up on, like, went up to the other balcony and then stayed stove off of it. Oh, my Jeez. goodness. Yep, he, uh, yeah, it was probably... Broke his spine maybe like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was maybe like the ceiling of the storm. That's, like, that's still, about that's still, was, still like an... It yeah, it was, it was crazy. Man. No, uh, but I think that's it. I don't think... Okay. There was that one, like, Drake Relays concert there. Drew and Kyle came up. We thought there would be a ton of fun to things to do at Drake Relays, but there really wasn't. What it was Drake, Drake Relays? It's just a time where they have like this tent put up at the bar right next to Drake, and people just drink copious amounts, or <laughs> it's like fun for alumni, I guess, or faculty okay. who graduated from there, but other than the concert, there's really not too much to do at Drake Relays. Oh, I thought you were talking fun. about Drake like the rapper. No! <laughs> oh, so did I. <laughs> no! <laughs> No, there was Oh, Drake as in like the university. The, Drake is right. in the university. We right. have a concert at okay. the end of every year. Okay. And we thought there would be a ton of fun things to do, but the relays were basically finished up because there actually is a track event that goes on at those times. Can you sign up for team? Do you like um, There's a marathon, a but it's like an actual track meet, and then they have the Paralympic runners okay. also do something, which without an event was pretty cool, but otherwise it's just like... It's fun to watch the... like. People do the high jump and stuff while there's running going on, but it's okay, not like something yeah. to really stick around, especially right. when it was as cold as it was. You saw the one video where it was like pouring down rain and the dude was packing up the chocolate milk and he handed Drew, Kyle, and I like this huge crate full of it. Did you like guys get the rest? Of <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like one of those milk cart crates, okay, yeah, but yeah, it was yeah, completely yeah. full of chocolate yeah. milk. <laughs> Okay, nice. They were handing out no, chocolate milk but there was instead nothing, of water. There was nothing to do that weekend, so we just went out to eat. Was, like it, wor- it, was it worth it? No, it was pretty fun because we just messed around at my dorm and okay. went out to eat a bunch of times. And the okay. concert was all right. How, how, is your dorm a nice dorm? I haven't seen it. Um, My dorm this year is pretty big. Is it about like same size as this or like bigger? Might be or? a little bit bigger because oh, yeah? we're on the corner. So, oh, oh, okay. So yeah. we have two windows. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. What? But our floor is really boring. It's an upper class mm-hmm. residence hall, and ours is about half full. Oh. And a bunch of people are leaving for Greek release next semester. Greek release? What's that? It's when you can live in the frat house. Oh, yeah! You- <laughs> so it's like, so my floor was already half full, and now like five people are leaving. Like, you go through, you walk through it, and there's like four empty doors in a row. <laughs> like, it's really weird. Like... I think I've seen three people showering at the same time at most, oh. or like brushing their teeth. Um, it's it's weird here. I mean, there is a lot of variety. So yeah, if if that's what you're getting at, yeah, like that's what I'm getting the at. different dorms. No, but like back in my first year, it was pretty fun. Um, there was. I talked to people on both sides. Is this an all guys floor? Or yeah. Is it, split up? it goes girls, boy, like a. Oh, uh, see, mine was alternates. both. And then we lived with people we had a class with. Mm-hmm. So I knew a bunch of people on both sides from that one class. Okay. Because that's how they chose your residence hall, was based on this like class thing you oh, took really? your first semester. Huh. Did you have yeah. a choice on whether or not you could go through like that? You can also it? find a roommate and select them. Okay. Or and they kind of set you up with this. Yeah. So okay. it's like either. So a lot of people. Their roommate was one they selected, and then they were from my FYS, or first year seminar, as they call it. Oh, okay. So, it was about 50 50 on this one. Okay. Ben's bringing over. Alright, yeah, I'm just bringing over my. Uh, oh, wait, it's the wrong page. No. So, um, I'd say the 2010s were a good, year for mu- good years for music. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, they're the only years I've really listened to music, so. Yeah, same <laughs> <laughs> From what I've heard, you know, it's, it's doing all right. <laughs> so I got, um, I made this last night. It's my top 20 albums of the 2010s. All right. And okay. we wanted we wanted to talk to you about some of your favorite albums. Death Grips, The Money Store for number one. Oh, That's yeah. Surprise. That's up there. Um, King Gizzard, my roommate really listened to him a lot. Yeah, I couldn't pick a single album, so I just put the entire band there. <laughs> Danny Baron, Atrocity Exhibition. I can really get into that. Like, I didn't think it was bad, but that wasn't my favorite. Do you like, have you listened to Triple X by him? I haven't listened to that much Danny Brown at all. I've listened to Atrocity Exhibition exclusively, I think. Okay. Besides maybe, like, a few songs that popped up in my Discover Weekly. Mm-hmm. I listen to my Discover Weekly every week. 
Um, JPEG Mafia Veteran. Yeah, that was pretty good. I feel like it sounds a lot like Death Grips, but it's a lot easier to listen to. Yeah. I feel like he's pretty good at rapping. Like, a yeah. lot of rappers I don't listen to are good at rapping, but he always is pretty good at rapping. Really technical. Yeah, and Zokuri Zoo. I yeah. liked Taboo a little bit more. I need to listen to that. I oh, Taboo's saw... really good. Really? Yeah. And Imperial's also pretty good. Imperial, though, it sounds like he was, like, earlier in his career, like mm-hmm. you can tell. Developing still? Yeah. But it's still pretty good. But yeah, I definitely recommend Taboo. Um, Run the Jewels. They opened for Lord when my brother saw them. Oh, yeah, yeah, he told me that. Um, Haven't ever listened to their music. Besides maybe like a few Killer Mike features on songs who's been on. Let's see, Honorable Mentions. Mac DeMarco. I don't really ever listen to Mac DeMarco. Yeah, it's, I, I kind of, he kind of fell People's, off with me a little bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah I feel like that. And uh, his that last album, from what I've heard, wasn't very good. Here Comes the Cowboy. Okay, because the people I know who listen to Mac DeMarco listen to anything, so it's like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do I want to listen to it? Like, they listen to anything that's, like, indie, so... Yeah, <laughs> Does yeah. that mean it's good or not? They, they, yeah. It's the meme in the music community <laughs> where it's like, Mac DeMarco ruined music. <laughs> oh ruined indie. Gosh. I heard um, that he executive produced Supermarket, actually. He did? Oh, yeah. he, um... <laughs> what? He, no, he, I think he, you're right. He, um... I think he did some of the instrumentals too. Oh. It's either executive or instru- something like that. I don't know. Doing the instrumentals a little bit more than executive producing. Because yeah. executive producing normally just means they're like, I go. <laughs> I get, sounds good. <laughs> yeah, normal, like they're like, okay, this celebrity is executive <laughs> yeah. in my album. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, so. Maybe if I hadn't known that he was involved in Supermarket, I might... Uh, you might have a different... <laughs> Mark DeMarco. I just yeah. have a personal vendetta against him. <laughs> do you uh, have any, uh, for yourself, what are some top... Yeah, off, yeah. Off the top of your head, do you have, like... Some some albums off, that, uh... I'll go through my top ten for 2020 if I have it okay. up. Do you, Ethan, do you got, a, you got like, a top five uh, or in no particular order or anything? Mm, you got Whack World... Whack World. The thing is, I don't listen to. I don't go through and listen to albums I can't get much into anymore. Tira Whack. I, I haven't. I haven't even tried really to listen to Whack. No. I definitely listened to her a lot for a while. Like, uh, it was in. It was in probably senior year. I think. These were the top ten songs it. I could remember dropped in twenty nineteen. Because mannequin <laughs> challenge. <laughs> My young son. Uh, <laughs> it's in no oops. order. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, PAT. I love that song. Yeah. What's that? That's it's the one the, by Denzel. It's the one that I where he's like, uh, contact, contact, <laughs> oh, okay. sticks out like a Voldemort. <laughs> oh, the um, that's that's you got some did, nav on Jeff there. Mafia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually really like nav. I was talking to this with, like Kyle and like Drew, and I'm like. There's been a lot more times where I... Well, I have a lot more Nav songs saved in my Spotify than Kendrick songs. Like, it's always... Mm. just I just enjoy listening to Nav what's more than really I enjoy fam- listening to Kendrick. What's really famous one? Myself. Beebs. Oh. And myself. And then he was also like on Beebs in the Trap, which... Beebs in the Trap. The what does Beebs that? mean? Um, Beebs? Bieber? Be- Justin Bieber? No, I think Beebs it's just like... Beebs in the Trap. <laughs> trap. Hey, guys. It's just like here. bricks. Bricks. Like, like oh, literal bricks. bricks. Just like yeah. beebs, mortar. Beebs in the trap. All right. No, but let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I like listening to Nav more than I like listening to Kendrick Lamar, even though That's music, music purists would kill me if I saw <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I watch Anthony Fantano, so I can't agree with you. No, like, I don't understand why he gets so much hate. Like, he drops Not Good for Navs, and then he'll, like, review entire Gunna albums, and it's like, Navs... I've... Nav's better than Gunna, what? <laughs> like, I've, I've never listened to a Nav song, and that's not because I've been avoiding it or anything, I just haven't listened to it, you know? No. Huh, um, oh, your, uh, absurdly long break. Yeah. yeah. So what, how's your break been so far? I mean, I've done a fair amount of studying. Um, how was your, yeah, how was your school, what did you have to, um, study for, for the, that test? For exam P, it's one of the actual exams, so outside of classes, actually, Actuaries have to take these exams to get certified as actuaries. And I took one last summer and then failed it the first time and passed it the second time. And then I took another one this semester. So 
Um, I did not really... I used the textbook that I used, and then there's, like, sample questions on the website for the SOA, which is the Society of Actuaries that are very similar to what you would see on an exam. Mm -hmm. And then there's also this one Des Moines-based practice prep company called Coaching Actuaries that I use. What Let me pull up. Let me pull up the dude who founded it and who does <laughs> the videos. You don't want to see him. Just so you can visualize what... Um, what I hear, actually, okay. oh God. imagine this dude. <laughs> imagine looks this like dude. a thumb. <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine this dude's voice. No, he's actually like a super cool dude, though. Like he's a very. I don't think I've ever seen anyone no. have a smile like that. No, he's like a super cool dude. He comes to Drake if like back when we were first years, and we would have like meet with actuarial professionals. And he was. And it's like he was one of the people a there. Tough time, like a bad day. He comes down there, gives him a belly rub. <laughs> <laughs> no, like it's like checks in with you. Hey man, how you doing? No, you doing no. all right. Lift that shirt up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Lift your head up, man. Your snapback's falling. No, it's definitely, <laughs> no, it's yeah. definitely pretty nice. Um, did a bit of studying on vacation, which was nice because otherwise it's like I don't know. Once you're Chilling on vacation for a while, it's like I'll either take a nap, but instead of taking a nap, I just studied instead. Oh, okay. Had a bit of fun doing that. What are the te- like? I don't know. I get the idea of actuarial science a little bit, but what like what are the what are the tests like outside of class? Like the tests that you have to take. So, so just like give us a sample one, question. Okay. Well, ex- what it, what are the like what do you have to do for the test? So this is probability where, where some of it was like. Find the expected value of a bivariate thing, assuming one of the variables is less than 60. Those are terrible. But then there's also things like, assuming there are 30 cans of pop, 30 cans of lemonade, 30 cans of water. I know you don't drink cans of water. <laughs> what's the We got some in there, actually. What's the probability of getting at least four cans of water, assuming you choose six? Okay. So you're working so with like a lot of stats, stuff, yeah. problem solving. And then solving. first one was financial mathematics, and that was like present value of money. Mm-hmm. So it's like with this rate of interest, if you get three hundred dollars every year, what would it be worth to purchase nowadays, mm-hmm. or what will it be worth by the end when you accumulate all of it? How many tests do you have to take until you're certified? Um. So there's associate level, and then there's fellow level. Fellows like ten. Fellow Whoa. level. Hello, fellow. <laughs> hey, fella. And then associate is five that are, like, what I'm taking, and then two okay. other things you have to do. Mm-hmm. And there's also, like, you need to have a college economics course, a college finance course, but so those you, aren't too bad. you could be certified as an associate, but you, could you be, could you be working as an actual, or actual, uh, what are they? You can the be, so for? you can work before you're an associate and have really good employment. Hmm. You need, like, three exams before people take you seriously as an actuary. Okay. And then companies will hire you because they'll know that you'll be able to become an associate once you get, like, the three exams passed. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. And then once you hit five and become an associate, then obviously you're that's pretty good. Then once you get ten, who's then getting then you're ten? Fella. Yeah, who's getting you're ten? You're a good fella. Um, most people are, like, over 50 by the time they become a fellow. What? Dang. Like, did you know Maddie Tabor? Uh, dad? yeah, of her. Her dad went, he was an ASA in the other pathway. There's like CAS and SOA. So he went like the ASA level for CAS. And then he became a fellow for SOA because he decided he didn't like property casualty. (laughs) (laughs) SOA is life and annuities. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and I still don't understand. And then CAS. (laughs) (laughs) So life and annuities is like life insurance and then... Policies where you get an annual payment of money. Mm-hmm. A lot of times they're based on the S and P five hundred index. Yeah. But okay. <laughs> and then property casualty is stuff like car insurance, homeowners insurance, like actual property that has a value attached to it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, today, uh, today, That's um, people throwing stuff down the rubbish, uh, rubbish bin. You guys yeah. have a like rubbish chute? Sh- yeah. yeah. You guys don't just have a trash can, and then the people who clean the floors just carry it. We have a trash can, but we dump the trash cans down. Yeah. <laughs> into the rubbish. That's so weird. And then yeah. Or so today this morning. <laughs> and threw a bag of puke down there one time. Yeah, because it was that was on the podcast where I vomited. 
Oh, uh, like times. the habanero one? Yeah. yeah. And then, so, uh, this morning, I was walking down the hallway, and <laughs> I heard someone say some choice words through the, through the rubbish chute, <laughs> oh, and, really? then, and then I then <laughs> and then they just like bottles, like glass bottles, just came crashing down through the thing. And I was what like, do you think happened up there? What do you I think was, no was the scene? I have no idea. What are the? I think we. I saw a TV get thrown down there once. We, like a you, full, you pushed down no, a TV. I, I did. That was that you. Was that, was me. <laughs> that was me. That was me. Was it like what was wrong with it? Was it, it just like well, it was the screen was shattered. Yeah, oh. the screen was broken. Yeah, someone the, their e girl stopped talking to them, so they punched <laughs> their their e girlfriend. Uh, okay, so are you on with this? Do, how many do people usually have by the time, the time they graduate? Or, yeah, um, three or four. Three or four. Yeah. Okay, so you're set. You're you're on course. Yeah, if I'm thinking I'll take the next one next winter, and mm. then the fourth one, probably I don't know to see how it works with class scheduling and stuff. Do they get harder, or are they just different topics? Oh, they so first two are about the same difficulty, mm. and then I hear that it gets a lot harder. And then once you get past like the first five, it changes a lot. Like they're well, like they're like, like physical tasks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, all right. Let's see how long you can hold your breath. Hold your breath water. in the water. <laughs> let's see how long you can hold your breath in the water. Uh, why do we need to do this? Okay. We're sending you all around the world. Yeah. They're like traveling. <laughs> we need to be ready the for it. Barefoot without speaking once. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Change the tire on my car. <laughs> <laughs> They're like they have actuarial monks. Oh yeah. Who yeah. Eat this grapefruit. Who run through tests? What's the worst? What's the worst fruit? Um, worst fruit. Grapefruit. That's that's what reminded me. I, I don't like, like grapefruit. grapefruit. It's probably something I haven't had yet. Probably tomatoes. I don't know. I'm vegetarian, so I eat almost any fruit. After Are you vegetarian? I am. How long have you been vegetarian? Since last semester started. Dang. How is it? Um, it's pretty easy, especially at the cafeteria. Yeah, they're pretty accommodating. Exactly, it is not, yeah. Yeah, like, just started getting falafel in my quesadillas instead of chicken, mm. and then that's vegetarian. Yeah. So that's how yeah. easy it was I for honestly me don't think it would be, I don't think it would be that difficult to no. be vegetarian. Here, no. here at least. Here, if well, I was even at... Even when you go to restaurants, it's like... Oh, yeah. All right, there's two things for me to order, so I don't even have to look at the menu. I'll just navigate to the green square... <laughs> See if that looks good. If it doesn't, I, navigate to the next green square. <laughs> what if that doesn't look good? Then you just order the thing from the first green square. <laughs> oh, okay. You got a system. Yeah, now. and then it's like, oh, since What's your I don't fa- have meat, it's a little bit cheaper. Have you for, ha- oh, yeah, yeah. Like Chipotle, where they like charge the same amount of money for veggies. <laughs> do you have a di- do you have a meal plan? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, the dining hall is super nice. It's probably a lot nicer at UNL than it is at Drake. It um. Ours, so what I've heard is that our dining hall right down there uh, is the nicest looking one, but there are other ones that don't look as I nice, think but they're I better ate food. that one for like a speech camp back when oh, yeah. I was. They're really, as... That was pretty good. Like, it wasn't... Oh, the food's great. The food's amazing. Yeah. yeah. The food's pretty good. I don't know... I guess eventually I'll get a hand at making now, my own food. you guys have food. like Subway? Like, full we have, like, Subways? Hobie, yeah. Yeah, and we Oscar have a Hogies. Chick-fil-A and... Yeah. Oh, oh, in the, uh... In, in the, yeah, yeah like, can you just straight up buy Subway with your yes. meal plan? Oh, yeah. Um, Is it that he's talking about the hoagie, Husker? Oh, hoagies. yeah, yeah. Oh. And then I think my dad said starting next semester, or this, maybe even this semester, that you can use it at Dunkin' Donuts, too. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah. Meal so you plan? you can just straight up buy huh. breakfast sandwiches. Yeah. They have a Starbucks, but that's about it. And the Starbucks has, like, breakfast sandwiches. In terms of, like, real restaurant food you can buy with your meal plan, but... Do you get uh, three a day? Um, or so, we have swipes, and then we have flex dollars. Mm. The flex dollars are where you buy stuff at, like, the convenience store or at the Starbucks. And then the swipes are what you use your normal food with. Okay, yep. we just, and you we just, just get, like, swipes. 300 at the start of the year. Okay. Okay. And then you can convert them to the flex dollars because I wish we had that. Uh, it's pretty yeah, that's nice. Because cool. you can eat just like four times in a day. Like, say you eat breakfast, you eat lunch, you have dinner, and then for a some reason you're going something. to stay up late with friends. Mm, yeah, that's 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 pretty good. That's yeah. a good system. And then upperclassmen, obviously, if you want to feed them, it's nice that you can just swipe. <laughs> <laughs> Give me food. Everybody at Drake has so many swipes. I swear they would swipe for anybody behind them. <laughs> <laughs> Swipe chain? Yeah, swipe chain. Have you had a... 
anything like intra the notable as far as like being switched out for vegetarian? Um, I feel like the falafel quesadilla is the craziest one because I never would have thought about it. What is falafel? It's like fried. Isn't it like Mediterranean? It's Mediterranean, oh. yeah, Middle Eastern. Okay. Maybe both. I mess with that. No, it's pretty good though. Definitely recommend it if you stay okay. at the cafeteria. But otherwise, it's just I don't know about the same. Do you t- typically? There's stay some foods that there's some foods that you don't really think are have meat until you realize like sushi, for instance. Like it was like. Oh yeah. Do sushi. you have sushi? No, I don't. Okay. Because I know some people go. I think that's pescatarian. Yeah, pescatarian. Yeah. Which. <laughs> It's like the same. <laughs> Which I forgot feelings. who, I forgot who was, who I was talking to, but they thought it was you could only eat fish. Uh, the pescatarian. <laughs> the pescatarian. It's like pescatarian. a weird carnivore weird diet. Trying to those explain people them. go on. Yeah. Yeah. What is? There's no way. The carnivore uh, diet. I think it's like a political thing. Like they're. Yeah, it's it's turned into a political thing. Yeah, I don't think it's like actually something reasonable people do. I think it's just a political thing. Yeah, it's point. probably not healthy too. Because you're getting, and especially if it's red meat, which it probably is. Yeah, then you're you're getting a lot of heart stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that that's strange. Yeah. Carnivore diet. Um. Okay, Parker, we are thinking about what to do with this, but we're not. We haven't really come up with something definite. No worries. But we have this. We have this generator that will spit we, out. We pick two of them, and then see who would win in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should do I think we should do ramifications. I All think right. Ben had an idea where we we pick one we pick one uh we pick a number before we generate it at random. All right. And then we discuss the ramifications of this thing just dis- like no Not longer existing. existing. Okay. Or, or okay. Is, is it stops existing or never existing? Oh. Uh let's go s- like both. <laughs> yeah, let's both. take them both yeah. in the same. Yeah. We don't have to like Go just say like if something like comes for up. instance Salvation Army like if it never existed yeah that would <laughs> nothing <would change>. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh let's go with four one two three yeah let's go with four fishing, fishing. Mm. oh all right so right off the bat <laughs> rip pescatarian oh pescatarian. yeah <laughs> so no fish. All right, so so like fish, fishing, they I don't exist, like, or no, fishing. fishing. Country music fish would have a lot more hunting representation <laughs> if it never existed. Because like country music, you know, they talk about fishing because it's like fairly accessible and doesn't require too yeah. much effort. It allows you to <laughs> get away from the uh, yeah. the old ball and chain. But you can yeah. just you don't really have to like put yourself out there. Like you can just sit on a dock. No, it's a simple. Yeah. It, you know, it just requires time. Why, yeah. why is it that um, country singers are in such bad relationships? Uh, I don't feel like anybody writes about beneficial relationships. Yeah, I mean, they do. So they, oh, they, they, keep, they write like, I love you, won't marry you. And then they get married and then they're like, <laughs> I hate you. Well, the thing is, country music musicians a lot of times have songwriters. Oh, yeah. So they're just performing someone else's songs. So, mm-hmm. They're kind mm. of just like a venue for the songwriter to yeah. express. It's just like a. So the real question is why are the why are the songwriters, songwriters. so so in such maybe because they know what so, they know then what they know what sells. It's a, yeah, it's yeah. a it's a people story. Are in bad relationships. Okay. Why do pe- people that listen to country music why are they in such bad relationships? Uh, I feel like there's a lot of stuff that has to. I think it's just, not bad relationships. I think I think what you're. Like the fact that most country songs, like if there's a girl, like they end up, li- like getting left. Well, no, because like, that's not a bad relation. That's just a relationship that ended. Yeah. yeah. Right. It could be because of a bad relationship, but well, like. Not many songs have feature good relationships. I would agree with that. Yeah. Like the weekend, like on a Starboy album, like it was twenty songs long, and then like the last song is the only one where it's, it's my, <laughs> where it's like a good relationship, <laughs> one where it's like. Could be good or bad, but yeah. like only one where it's like explicitly stated as good. Because I mean, I guess when you look at it, there's not really a lot of conflict. Because there needs to be conflict. Yeah, in, there in needs to be a storytelling. Yeah. Like think about all the songs where they've had really good storytelling. Yeah. And normally it's like they're not like everything's going good. Yeah. Everything's going fine. Uh, <laughs> gonna eat a sandwich. Fishing. I agree with Parker. I think that hunting would definitely be uh, a lot more common in country. Yeah, a lot more common in country. 
Um, I think it would be a lot more common in everything. Like, a lot more people would pick up a bow and arrow just for fun with friends on the weekend. Yeah. Instead of fishing. But then... Because um, right? it's similar energy, but... Did, did we say if fish never existed or that fishing was illegal? If fishing stopped... If um, I don't think it was illegal, I think it just, just said if it just everyone stopped. Just, just everyone fishing was just isn't like, a thing. all right, you know what? I don't feel like fishing anymore. Well, fishing isn't a thing. Like, it's just not an event. It's not something that happens. So it like hasn't it been invented yet? Well, there was also no, the it's just if not it just, There was also the if it stops. Okay. Like, suddenly people can't throw a net and catch fish. They just all slip out. It's impossible yeah. to catch fish. I, I really it would just be unfortunate, I guess. Um, don't think it would be that unfortunate, though. Not much good stuff comes from fishing. Except for this the might fish be the themselves. vegetarian in me fish speaking, <laughs> yeah. but no, isn't there like a lot of? I like sushi a lot. I just noticed you guys have a remember key card thing on the door. Oh yeah, you? they're very helpful with that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is it like that tag? Oh yeah. We should we should yeah. get make Sammy's entire door that yeah, remember Sammy, key card. Who's Sammy? On the, he this. lives down there. He's um he forgets his key card at least once a week. And whenever uh-huh. he comes into our room, he forgets at least two, like... Two items. Two oh, why was he in there room. on that one podcast? Oh, he was on the rock music one. Oh, okay. I think episode two or something, episode three. Did you say why was he in there? Yeah. Yeah, well, because he's talking about the one where he was just sitting. And oh. And, like, I, yeah. he just kind of knocks and just, comes and goes as he pleases. Kind of vibes. Yeah. Yeah, I used to do that a little bit more last year, but this year, I think... So, I have friends who live in the West Village apartment right next to it. Mm-hmm. But just because nobody lives in GK, not GK, GK is where everybody lives. I live in Morehouse, which is the nearly empty one. <laughs> yeah. I just never really hang out with other people on my floor, so it's like... Man, we, uh, sh- we should yeah. fix that. I think they should start providing free rent for homeless people <laughs> <laughs> in the dorms. <sighs> to be friends with? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. <laughs> I think there'd be a lot of interesting, yeah. interesting things to come out of that. I don't know if I'd be a fan of it. All right, are you going to generate another I feel one? endangered. Seven. Seven. Donkeys. Donkeys. Donkey! Mm. Donkey. Communism was eight. Oh, <laughs> shoot. Baylor. <laughs> Baylor! <laughs> uh, I don't know. Mary and Joseph, they wouldn't have... They wouldn't have had a place made to... Made it. Yeah, yeah, they wouldn't I mean, have made it. Uh, Shrek would not have been the same. Shrek yeah. wouldn't it? Shrek would never be the same. Okay, that, what, one what of, of uh, that one episode of uh, <laughs> um, Fear Factor wouldn't have been bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, that was... Maybe they would just do horses instead for everything. Yeah. So instead of like... Because you don't really see like very many yeah. likable fictional horse characters. Like they're Spirit. all... Spirit. They're all weird like <laughs> horse characters. That, yeah, that's a good point. Are there was there a book like Warrior Cats, but it was about horses? There was one with dogs. Polar bears. Polar bears. That's what it was. But I wouldn't doubt that they. Didn't they get into one. like serious co- like <laughs> results of war? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> like they were like like they covered like villages being destroyed on wars like. Heavy stuff for a book about oh, and, and war. warriors and warrior. Cats. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's it. Um, uh, I don't really. I mean, I read all of them, but I don't remember that many details about them. No, I mean, I read them in middle a, school and like elementary ago. school. Um, and then the do- the one about dogs. I hated that one because they used dog language for everything like they called what is dog language well they just they made up this they made up words yeah and the dogs were basically like too dumb to understand what things were so they had names so they were like cars were like like metal with like three intelligence (laughs) (laughs) and you just like grunt what was the the the, i remember bulldozers were earth movers they just had they just used different words oh were there like humans in the books also i think so and they were called like two legs Oh, yeah. two legs good, four legs bad. No, wait, no, it's... Oh, yeah, that's bad. from... <laughs> that that's from Farm. Animal yeah. Farm. Yeah. Number three. Execution. Execution. All right, well, uh, France would still have a monarchy. Mm. Oh. Execution. There'd be a lot more witches. That's true. That's true. There'd be... You know, I think I read some... I don't know if this is fake or not, but I read something and believed it, that they, like, tested the water in Salem 
or something. Yeah. Or they, they would did... do this test where they would see if you could swim and if you would drown, like, and, and they didn't pull you out in time, then... <laughs> you would just drown. Right. It, it was it was if you drowned, you weren't a witch, but if you floated, you were yeah. a witch. And but they would like they would maybe yeah. they would like maybe pull you out in time if you didn't so drown. <laughs> I don't know. They did it. They tested the waters recently or mm-hmm. something, or they did. I don't know if it was. I don't know. They tested the waters recently, or if they like did an analysis on what they thought was happening, yeah, based on like recount like like the history, written history of the time. Mm-hmm. But it was like there there might have been like mushrooms, hall- hallucinogens in the water. <laughs> it's I I that's that's the meme. That's the Joe Rogan meme. Is that everything that happened in history is due to mushrooms? Really? Yeah. Hmm. What do you think about that? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't think they were rolling off of. MDMA back in <laughs> Salem era. Well, maybe yeah. I'm not. You know what? I can't. I can't be sure. Those women may have, may have, may actually, have actually been, been witches. Been. And if they were, then I think I think it was justified. Yeah, I think. What well, exactly do witches definitely. do? Uh, they go. They well, I think the main sticks. the main thing was that they made the made a pact with the devil. Like they were in contact with. The I devil. saw. I saw Ethan with the devil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw. Who, is that what they said? They were just like yelling and they would say... Why did I forget the name of the thing out. that we had to read in the Crucible? Living. The Crucible. Yeah. Maybe I like that. I like the Crucible. Uh, yeah, I thought it was decent. I really liked The Great Gatsby, but I feel like... I guess they would like accuse them of being the reason why they would get like sick or why they would... Uh, have right, marriages. yeah, they would blame them yeah, for things. Yeah, things definitely got a bit like... Shifty, like people were lying mm-hmm. on who was a witch and, they were cloud and chasing. things like that. Yeah, they were they cloud, were cloud chas- chasing. <laughs> have you ever have you well, ever cloud chased? Like the cloud chasing? Yeah, no, have you I ever feel done like that? I just kind of get clout. Like I don't really have to like start things that didn't actually happen. Like things just happen and I get clout. I don't know. <laughs> How much clout do you think you have right now? Um, I've been moving pretty silently, especially over winter break. But, I don't know, first semester I feel like I talked to a lot more people than I did this semester. My clout is very low. Uh, I don't think I can this rank is the, my clout. This is when you have the most clout. You have more clout as a first year than you ever do. Well, really? Yeah, because uh, you see people around mm-hmm. a lot more. People actually like go to a lot more of this stuff because they don't have jobs and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't yeah. have a job. Well, it's not like we're, we're not going to anything. No, we're not. We don't have anything <laughs> Especially to go to. me. Like, go out and get your clout. Because, like, Ethan goes to the MRC. Maybe. I haven't gone this. He goes well, to the library yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I for sure do, but I haven't gone this. He goes out to the semester. lobby sometimes. I don't think you get any clout from going to the library. People are just there to study. <laughs> Yeah. I, I, where where do you where have you gone that? I feel like I get clout. the clout. I feel like you get clout from answering questions in class. If anything, honestly, oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Sometimes I was just walking by and they're like, I think the only two people who know stuff is that one boy who out, uh, who answers questions, and then the one girl who asks dumb questions. <laughs> <laughs> there was um, I've told Ethan about this, but there was this girl in my psychology class last semester who had asked the most. Like, had dumbest questions. Was it like they would ask questions or they would tell, like, almost like, you know, they would be like, my parents did so-and-so, is this because, like... <laughs> oh <laughs> the my worst God. thing, the worst thing was, we were learning, we were, like, learning about if the Mozart effect was actual or not, but she... If were, the what? If, the like, Mozart? the Mozart, like, effect oh, is that? of, like, oh, what's the Mozart, Mozart effect? for, like, small kids. So oh, like, it makes them smaller. Oh, yeah. yeah. And she was like... My parents played Mozart as a kid. Is that why I have perfect pitch? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and everybody was like, does perfect pitch actually exist? <laughs> oh, yeah. Isn't that a thing? That it, like... I've, heard it, like, I've heard it used by other people, so I guess it, like, isn't... I'd say So it I exists. guess it is a thing. Yeah. But it's still, like, that's super weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the, the, girl, the girl would ask these really long hypothetical questions that had no answer. You know, she'd be like, okay, what would happen if somebody's uh, cerebral colossum colossum was severed and they had gotten a car accident and then they had depression and then they got ADHD and then they went <laughs> to the store? What would happen? <laughs> and, the teacher, <laughs> and the teacher was forced, because she was a really nice teacher, so, so she couldn't be like, what are you talking about? She was like, she'd, she'd have to say like, you know what, I'll have to check on I that. I thought you were going to say like, what if the corpus callosum was severed? And yeah, I'm that's like, what I that's meant to say. Su- just like that alone. And oh, I'm like, okay. 
you guys didn't see the video of the one dude who was like we did yeah that's we did. really that I we feel watched like that everybody that's really cool. sees that in their psych class yeah. we even like saw it backing it out of me and they I have all the intro psych teachers yeah, in the discord the where they share <laughs> 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 yo check check this one out <laughs> this one's super cool. watch this <laughs> <laughs> No, but I'm trying to think about it, about what I was going to say about psych. Uh, did you take one freshman year? I or? took it last semester. Oh, last semester? No, but I had a lot of fun. I had two friends from class that I would see every day, and I was always excited to see them. Nice. Do you usually have a lot of friends in your classes? Um, Sometimes there are people from my business fraternity. Mm. Um, right. Parker's in a frat. Yeah, frat. I'm, the, I'm the co-pres. On a scale really? of yeah. 1 to 10, nice. how crazy is your frat? How crazy does it get? Yeah. How crazy does it get? Like, yeah. within how many minutes are the police called during a party? <laughs> One time we had, like, they, it's gotten a lot larger, and we haven't changed venues, so they get, like, noise complaints, but that's not really things becoming crazier. Dang. That's just a linear progression, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just but too many people say, doing business. <laughs> I'd probably say four, if you consider six average, not, like, maximum craziness versus okay. maximum. Out of ten? Yeah, four out of ten. If you just consider six as like average. Okay. Uh, one. Maybe five. Oh, one. Ooh. Moving on. Let's see. Mummies. Well, uh, we. Did went... mummies have legitimate sanitary purposes? Like, I know it was a religious practice, but did the embalming process also help stop the spread of disease? I I know oh. I know it preserved them better. Yeah, for sure preserved. I don't think it was san. I don't think it was a sanitary. Because I mean, they're pulling their brains out through their noses and stuff. I don't think it's <laughs> very sanitary to me. But doesn't a lot of like the preservations we do make the body not really capable of hosting yeah, anything? Yeah, I believe so. so but like they, they would like lock. But even like broke people, had mummies. They weren't mummies, but they had their carcasses treated. Yeah, I feel like being a mummy yeah, was so. a little bit more deluxe of the. Embalming yeah, process. for sure, for sure. Um, so, are we saying that without mummies, the spread of disease? Like yeah, there may have been. Yeah. Then what would have, would have happened? Well, then Egypt wouldn't have existed. Maybe, maybe that far. I don't think it would be like dark ages. They wouldn't have done. Because Egypt was a lot more spread out. It wasn't like the dark Just ages Giza. where everybody was like living right next to each other. It was okay. like this, like this, this was my house, this big. There were a few pretty big <laughs> cities in Egypt. I've been yeah, playing Assassin's, Assassin's Creed Origins. Origins recently. Oh, how was that? Learn Egypt in there. Um, I don't feel like, I don't know, it's 50-50. It looks really nice. The oh, gameplay's yeah. all right. I, have, I've, I kind of, I want to finish Bloodborne right now. That's what I've been playing recently besides Nino Kuni. Oh, uh, what's that? It's, um, it's this anime JRPG. And then the, the, the cutscenes are actually done by Studio Ghibli. So, oh, so that's pretty cool. Who? What did they animate again? Uh, my neighbor Totoro. It, they're basically um Japanese Disney. Okay, I've heard of Ponyo, uh, Spirited Away. What uh, is Howl-y's just Spirit? Moving Wait, castle. what's that? Yeah, Howls. Howls. Which one is JoJo? Howl's. Which one animates JoJo? Oh, I don't know. I know, like Araki is the dude who like writes the original manga, and I think he has a pretty big hand in the TV show, but not yeah, I guess. Sure. I was disappointed to learn one of the stands' scary monster was named after a David Bowie song and not after this <laughs> Skrillex song. <laughs> Kate, if you're listening right now, I I am going to watch JoJo someday soon. Is Kate, uh, yeah, he wants me to watch JoJo really bad. I've watched the first. I, I I feel like the seasons were split up weird or something. I've either watched the first half of the first season or I've watched the first season. The first. I actually, I've gotten to the part where JoJo... Are you on part two or part one? Because it explicitly states... Part two. So that's... I guess all of part one and part two are the first season, I think. Okay, part... That's I'm why on, they're on Netflix okay, so I'm together. Okay, so I'm on half... I'm halfway through season one, then. But I'm it, on part two. But I it's... Believe. Yeah, I think part one and part two are the same season. Because part one ends with his, like, mother and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Passing into the and next part realm. two begin. Uh, part two begins with like the like him Tommy getting beat. Gun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, we wouldn't have. Uh, there wouldn't be any role for Remy, whatever the heck his last name is, to play in Night at the Museum. Yeah, they're on Malik. Remy Malik. I think that's his name. Yeah, possibly. 
possibly. There wouldn't it be too many, like, Halloween would be different. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. What would be the main? It would just be uh, vampires, witches. Frankenstein's monsters. Ghost. Zombies. Zombies. Zombies are like the opposite of mummies. Whoa. That's woke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Parker, hey. pick a number. Um, oh, sorry. Two. Oil. oil. <laughs> oh, gosh. What kind of oil? Are you just going to go with, like, the fossil fuel? Olive. Yeah. Olive oil, yeah. What would happen if olive oil didn't exist? <laughs> but Paul would actually put olive oil on a salad every single time. Really? Yeah, like, I've he never wouldn't put it. on, like, normal sauces. He just liked, like, the lighter olive oil. Gosh, mm. what is it with foreigners? Am I right? <laughs> no, but he didn't, like, he wouldn't, like, like, a lot of sauces or stuff. He would just, like, a lighter sauce. And we had like a bunch of olive oil left over and we were like oh we're not going to go through it now (laughs) we actually tried this thing it was called a serrano ham it's one of those hams that people leave out and you just like carve off a piece oh yeah and it was like the worst thing ever it (laughs) really wasn't Paul was like (laughs) no like Paul wouldn't eat it (laughs) because he was like yeah I was never really a fan of it back home (laughs) where'd you guys get it yeah and then we got it from Costco you can actually buy them like the kit's like a hundred dollars it comes with a wooden stand that they're on is it the one it's the one where they're like knife they're kind of yeah pull up a photo of it post it up yeah what are they called post it up Serrano ham Serrano with an S-E-R-A-N-O all right, I'm just going to let Google do it. <laughs> so, so what? With an e. with a, you looked up Serana. You looked up Serana's <laughs> name. That's a place. <laughs> no, go back to... Okay, sorry. How do you look it up? Oh, okay, thank you. Ah, Serrano. All right. Yeah, so we just... Oh, what in is, the world? <laughs> Yeah, they're just not, they're not very good. Like, you would expect, like, there to be a thin wax layer. Ew, it looks like it's rotten. Oh, the outside is wax? Yeah, it's like a waxy coat. What? No, it's, I think it's supposed to taste like prosciutto, but it just tasted really bitter. (laughs) Oh, man. So how how thin are you supposed to slice the pieces? It's supposed to be like prosciutto. Have you ever had that? No. Oh, it's like an Italian thing. It's like almost like bacon. I don't know. Oh, okay. That's interesting. What do you put it on? Is there something that you like? I think you just eat it. You just like okay, just off plain. A piece and you eat it. No, <laughs> but yeah. So we had one of these. I think it was up there with one of the worst things our family bought that year. <laughs> a what, long what else way. Was up there. Um, probably just like things that were more useless that we never got around to using, but that was the one thing we bought where we just did it. Didn't like it. <laughs> you guys throw, throw it away? Oh, yeah, we did. <laughs> 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 we had it out there because we thought, like, oh, does it, like, once you unwrap it, does it go bad? Does it get, like, good? And then you oh, actually cut into it? And then? And then it just, just didn't change. It oh. was the same. Can, ben, can you think about the worst thing you've ever eaten? Mm. I can't. I don't think I can. I was this one Boy Scout. That? I was this one Boy Scout camp out where there were these sloppy joes, and they were absolutely terrible. Really? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I, I've eaten a lot that, can, that I can complain about. There was definitely something at the cafeteria where I didn't Oh, sure. yeah. Yep. What, what Indian do you got in food. Mind? There's, oh, I like the Indian food. I do not like the... Uh, what, what's classic Indian? Like curry. Curry. Oh, this is really like curry. No. Indian curry doesn't have so much flavor as like a Thai food curry normally, though. It it has a very r- weird all the all the curry when I put it on my plate, it's like it has an aura. Like it has, I showed Ben this one time. It's like this oil, this residue that's yellow. It's like neon oh, yeah. yellow. Yeah. What is that? Is that is that just is like curry just like powder? Curry paste? Yeah, that's what I was gonna look up. But it's no, it really. it looks like it may be the curry. No, it's probably the curry paste. Yeah, it's probably... The, I do not appreciate... It's just, like, kind of toxic, and it's... Oh, uh, see, I really like curry. It's well, Parker. Looks like we're going to have to... Somebody's got to like it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a billion Indians out there that like it. I don't yeah. think everybody in India likes curry. Oh, everybody in India likes curry. I can guarantee <laughs> that. <laughs> you and I have both guaranteed something about Indians over the course of this. 
<laughs> this what whole you podcast yeah. that they could uh, that they could out eat. I, th- I think they could beat me in, like, a chili eating contest or something. <laughs> it was the episode before the uh, the pepper. Oh. We ate the pepper. It I was like, that I actually. guarantee. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to go with six. Communism. Communism. I'm not going to touch this one with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> Just barely listen to this podcast. In the, in the off chance he does. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying anything that would anger him and our future overlords. I'm gonna do the I same. I think it would just be replaced by something similar. That's fair. Moving on. Eight. Telephone. Oh. Why did people? Because obviously Marx wasn't the first communist. Like I understand that the term comes from communal, but why is it that what? Marx was the one everybody went with? Because he's um, he's the one that kind of popularized it, I guess. Okay. I don't know if his writings were that much better. Which one did we go with? It's it's like um, <clears throat> it's like a how we're learning in biological anthropology. Darwin wasn't even close to the first guy that was thinking yeah. about evolution. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan just looked up dumb-looking animals. <laughs> what is Oops. this? Look this up with us if you want to play along. Like what is one. going on? <laughs> We're scrolling down a little bit. If you guys want me to click on one, we'll see it. What's that one? I think I've seen a meme with that thing before. The top 25. <laughs> it's BuzzFeed. <laughs> the pangolin? Oh, I think these are really cool. Look at that. Look Whoa, at that it's got a tongue. It's like a... Uh, it's like a... What are those called? An eight. A armadillo. Snake. Yeah, armadillo. Armadillo, but armadillo. It's, it has like a tail. Fusa. It looks like something you'd fight in Monster Hunter. <laughs> yeah, it does, exactly. The Fos- Fusa. They're just spraying. Muscly w- cat bear. How big yeah, are they? They look that weird. They look like. Oh, they're spraying milk in its mouth. Lilac breasted roller. Oh, those look really. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's How is that a stupid awesome. animal? How is that a dumb animal? <laughs> the lilac breasted roller is very. It's very pretty. Oh, I've what seen is that. that? I've never seen that in my entire life. I've seen a uh, like a clickbait, a clickbait Have title with this on it. Have you seen the video where they like pull the parasite the out glo- of like, a praying mantis? Yes, and it was in a bucket. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, that was absolutely that was the grossest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm looking it up. Look up like praying mantis parasite removal. Parasite. Yep. Top one. Is this, this one? This one yeah. is. Three giant parasites explode out of the, this one. Yeah, this one is the absolute worst. Ew. Why is it in water? Because they. Wait, wait, wait. So <laughs> there's parasites in it and it's like. And they, living? They like, yeah, they like, like, do their like reproducing thing and then they. Full oh screen gosh, it. Oh gosh, I am not. I'm not excited about that. Oh, it's upside down in the water. Oh, 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 they're coming out. Oh, the, par- oh, the praying mantis is upside down. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my the praying goodness. Mantis is- oh, jeez. Oh! It's laying in the- it's trying to swim around the water. These parasites are Wait, is he still alive after this yeah. is going on? Oh, oh I thought he was like, already dead when this was happening. No, he's just he's just they chilling. Are so long. How did they stay? How did they fit in that body? Oh, dude, don't touch it! Don't! Oh! Oh! He just grabbed the president. <laughs> the parasites are like trailing on behind him. That is so gross. The dude just picked up. Oh, what are they gonna do to it? Oh, that's so gross. That's so gross. Frank Mantis alive? Why do we feel the emotion of disgust? I don't know. Because you don't want a parasite inside of you. <laughs> <laughs> is it Frank? Is it dead? I'm pretty. Oh, they're all gone. What the? Oh, he's alive. Oh, I Did bet. Frank Mantis have blood? Let's watch him just attacking this praying Mantis. They, I'm sure they're trying to wrap around his legs. But I don't want them to kill him. Are they actually? Are the parasites actually trying to kill him? Yeah, I think so. I kind of imagine they were like less than. They really didn't have like a, a brain or a. Come here, we want to save you. Oh gosh, that is disgusting. 
That is really disturbing. Oh gosh. Oh, this is a dead one. Oh, well, soon to be dead? Oh, I think did they're they already it? dead. I think the parasite controls it from inside. Like, I think it can regulate bodily oh, functions. That's gross. I think the disgust response is perfectly oh. natural since I think it needs oh, yeah. to get wet for it to be excreted. Or maybe there's like a chemical oh. bath that causes it to. Maybe like, that's why it was in water. Oh, why yeah, in maybe they. Because you always see them in water buckets. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's, that's how to get it out. Okay, they just sprayed this thing. What's he doing to it? It's that's not in frame. the worst camera <laughs> angle I've ever seen. He's yeah, getting like down to it. it <laughs> what is he doing? He's missing it completely. We should have a view of the cement. <laughs> there we go. Like, oh, you, there it oh, goes. Oh, oh, it's so... It looks like stop motion. And that's because this is like a... New 2000 YouTube camera. Oh, God. Nature is unforgiving. <laughs> Oh, that is horrifying. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, wow. Number four is, we're back to the, uh, what was this one called? Dumbest? Dumbest, and dumbest, stupidest, dumbest, <laughs> stupid animals that stupidly exist. But this one's pretty cool. Yeah, that's actually, that's a really yeah, cool one. Glo like, Glossius that's Atlanticus. That's scary. Yeah, I wonder what they, like... All right, we're copy and pasting the, uh... I don't really like that one. Is a species of small, oh, blue sea slug. Hmm. Yeah, after the parasite video, I don't feel like I like anything that looks really <laughs> out of the ordinary. Oh, the bush viper. Oh, that looks really cool. Jerboa. Oh, what? Oh, oh. It does not okay, have any if arms? You, if you have access, if you have access to technology right now, and the internet, look up Jerboa. J-E-R-B-O-A. It is like a little little like rat, rat with I with uh, a kangaroo. yeah. It was like a little rat with long chicken legs, and it looks like it's just bouncing. Skinny little chicken legs. Oh, I like that one. That one gets a uh, that one gets a an eight for me. Yeah. Dumb oct oh Dumbo octopus. <laughs> Aw. That's, that's oh that's that's the thing from really Finding cute. Nemo. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's like so that good, one yeah. squid or that uh, octopus chick. Oh okay. I like that one. It's just kind of a uh, derpy looking squid. It has really big eyes yeah, and two little ears. Yeah, that. that one's vibing. That one gets a. Uh, that one gets, one gets a, a nine for its seven. Vibe. Yeah, that one gets a. That one gets an eight for its vibe. Um, the goblin shark. This one. Whoa! This one receives a two. <laughs> um, they. It looks horrific. I don't like it. It looks like it's. I think its jaws are. Why they do can, you like things that don't see the light of day look weird? <laughs> like, why is that actually a thing? Because you know how, like, almost every... Oh. <laughs> is this... Is it moray, or is yeah, it... Yeah, you saw that, right? Um, here it is. I want to get a diagram of it, though. Moray like... eels have a second... Have you jaw? ever seen the gif where like it shoots out and grabs the no, fish? No, I haven't. Look up Moray Eel's second jaw. Gif. No, I I uh, I think I get what you're yeah. saying about oh, like the is, things that don't one, see the. Yeah. Just wait for it to load. Guess, can you see if gifs load? I guess you can just go to the site. This one looks like it may work. Okay, we're watching a gif of a... The more eel has the the spider in its... Or maybe a crab. <laughs> It'd make more sense if it's a crab. <laughs> in its jaws. And then a second pair of jaws in the back of its throat. Like, shoot forward and grab it. Man, I don't like that. Yeah, things that don't really... That get a lot of... Don't get a lot of light. Really they don't. Like, they're not appealing. Look they all look... Yeah, yeah they all look gross. The in the Indian purple frog. <laughs> what the? There's just like it's like a big brown <laughs> body like with a little tiny was, nose. The frog. <laughs> yeah, that one gets a. Uh, 
Uh, I was disappointed to learn bullfrogs are an invasive species. They are an yeah. invasive species? Like, if you capture them, you are legally required to, like, eliminate them or else you <laughs> Eliminate them? <laughs> <laughs> legally required. Tell me why I didn't kill this harmless, innocent frog well, thing. Because they, like, destroy other frog habitats. Because yeah. they're, like, the apex frog. Like, look at Whoa, them and then the look... The apex frog. Look oh. at them and then look at a smaller frog. And yeah, they, do they eat other frogs? Yeah, probably. Yeah. They eat, like, anything. They eat birds. They eat birds? Yeah, there was this... Goodness gracious. ...bullfrog that used to hang out on our pond who would <laughs> eat these the birds. Oh, my God. <laughs> it just out and dragged one underwater. Wait, what? How is that... How is that a dumb animal? It looks so cool. It's a hummingbird hawk moth. What is it? This is just, I don't like, this is what just it is. like, cool animals yeah. with, like, pointless negativity attached to uh, Is it a moth? I think it's a moth, because that's the last thing, but I think they it they named it the hummingbird hawk moth because of how it mm. yeah. gathers its its food. Aw, I've heard the I've, these guys made, oh, the number eleven is the desert rain frog, and this one makes Maine like wolf? it makes a little sound. Yeah. Whoa, maned wolf looks kind of cool too. Hyenas look messed up. Like Hyenas, they're gross. oh yeah, yeah. I like that one. Mantis, Mantis shrimp, shrimp are cool. Hyenas kind of look like Tasmanian devils once they get like the mouth cancer they get. Yeah. Oh, mantis shrimp are the ones that have. Uh, they can see like a folded. billion colors. They have the they have the um, like little wrecking balls for hands. What? And they can they like tense up and they unlatch oh, them and it. they hit and they break through uh, they it. break through snail shells. There's like well, its wrecking ball hand. Yeah. Mantis shrimp. Hand. Mantis shrimp. I think they had like the. Uh, Breaks tank. Punch. Yeah, because they can kill like fish and. Uh, can a huge. Can he. Right, I guess maybe we'll hear the sound. Hello, I'm doing a Mythbusters. <laughs> doing a Mythbusters. Did you ever watch the U- European YouTubers who like trespass and climb up things? <laughs> no. Oh, you know how we YouTube videos? Met those dudes in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they like all of them like go climb up things in London on your own time. And Look up Ali Law O2 Arena. And they climb. do like trespass, they, like, right? trespass and, and they just like explore when they're not yeah. supposed to. Oh yeah, I have seen a few of those just videos. Watch the one where they climb up the O2 just Arena. Just like God. there's like a police chase and they like perfectly get onto a subway as they. Like, oh, that's <laughs> as it pulls up. <laughs> I saw one guy who was uh, like train hopping. Is that we call it, or like. Them to claim. In a hot market, you have to move fast. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> at his prey, light. Oh yeah, here he goes. Fifty times faster than we can blink. Well, yeah, they break through snail shells and uh, hermit crab shells and to eat. Eesh. I think he just killed them there. Yeah. Uh, Manta shrimp. Uh, number my 13. roommate had a pet snail oh, last what the? year. I think that really? thing's extinct. Yeah, it was pretty big, like the size of my fist. I think uh, if you get like snails in a fish tank and you don't really manage them and if i think if they're the right type of snail they can like inv- they breed super super quickly um, and they're invasive it depends on it depends on the snail. snail yeah i've i've just heard a few things that oh the oh cop copy oh cappy oh i don't know if this snail was like completely legal to own or if it was because he like got oh. it through like ebay that's interesting <laughs> tag dark, on the dark the net snail market <laughs> right, right yeah <laughs> Patagonian Mara. Uh, just looks kind of like a, a dog rabbit. Garanuk. What is this? The Garanuk. It looks like a bear. Oh! <laughs> Look at it. Sw- it's just like swallowing food, and you can see it going down its throat. It looks like a, just kind of a long-necked uh, gazelle. Pink fairy armadillo. Oh, that's the one we saw. That's pretty cool. Yeah. The red-lipped batfish. Whoa. Whoa. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Wait, how's it walk? Like, huh? He's posting up right there at the end of that. <laughs> yeah, I, this guy gets a this guy gets a three because I don't really understand what's happening in this gift. He has a, yeah, he's vibing though. Yeah, for sure. So what? The, 
It looks like, it's a, like an antelope. A gazelle that an someone anteater. edited it. Yeah, it looks like an anteater if it was a gazelle. Yeah, strange face. The shoe ball, shoe bill. Oh, I've heard of those. Those that things looks, are scary. That one looks like a cartoon. Oh, it's. A, I wonder what. <laughs> they do look phone. scary. Yeah. He looks like Psyduck. <laughs> yeah. Or uh. Golduck. Golduck. Yeah, he looks exactly like Golduck. Maybe the Paul Golduck. I want to compare. Oh yeah, maybe. Uh, let's see. Golduck is. Um, Have you heard the theory that Golduck and Psyduck had their names switched? Yeah, yeah but why exactly. so? Or why did they... What the... That's because... There we go. Shoebill and Golduck. Interesting. Psyduck be like... Quack. <laughs> 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 Tough to deer. Oh, they have fangs. That's kind of cool. The Sunda Flying Lemur. That's... Gotta get some... It's a pass? Yeah, it's a pass for me. <laughs> what is this? 23 is Shiva Rotan. No, it it's like Chevy Rotan. Chevy Rotan. Chevy Rotan. It looks like a procedurally generated animal from, <laughs> from No Man's from Sky. No Man's Sky yeah. yeah, it's <laughs> tiny little legs. It has kind of a plump body and then a very tiny rat deer head. It's so small, dude. Look at these plants. Have you ever like made a character on the Oblivion character creator? Yeah. How small? How thin, narrow were you able to get your head? Oh. As, like, unreasonably narrow. <laughs> Mine was, like, this wide. <laughs> and the thing is, helmets conform to the shape of your head. Really? So, like, even the helmet would just fit on it, like, this <laughs> wide. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Ugh. Where are, we, where are we sitting for time? Well, we've been going for an hour and ten minutes. You beat your brother. I this did. This is the longest... This is the longest podcast. Really? Yeah. I think Drew's was... I only got halfway through Drew's. I think his was an hour and uh, Four five. Four What was the most notable part about Drew's? Oh, well, the title... Uh, the title track, or the... Not the title track. The title, <laughs> I think, was, it was Large Produce. And yeah. that's... And I, but I can't really remember what uh, other parts. I guess that was the most notable. Evidently, or that's just what I thought was the most interesting. To figure out what to do over the next couple of days. Drew went back, way back on like the 15th, I think. Oh, is, has his school started yet? Oh, his school started for sure. Okay. It started last Wednesday. Okay, so same as, same as us? No, we started... On, on Monday. I mean... This week? Last week. Yeah, because you guys got out a week late. Compared to Drew. I got back super early, though. Wait, no, I think Drew and I both got out on the 10th. Drew just had an extra day of finals, so he got out on, like, the 11th. Okay. I have... Okay. Or he was doing a Creighton basketball game that he had to cheer for. Did I tell you guys about how one time I had nothing to do and they needed volunteers, so I just I think, yeah, I think I did get that. <laughs> yeah, I got to turn out the flags at the start of was it. Was that nice. blue face paint. Yeah, it was pretty fun. How often does Drew, I guess Drew just has to do that Drew whenever does they... Drew uh, games, I think. Is there one main person that, uh, that, like, goes, or is it... Um, I mean, there's people who have been doing it longer, so they know more what's going on, but... For the most part, I think everybody who's done it more than one year is about equal. Okay. It's kind of like one of those things. Okay, that makes sense. No, it's pretty fun, though. Yeah. It'd have to be. We haven't gone to any sp- sp- events. I've been to every home football game. Oh, that's true. Wait, no, well, I didn't no, go to every home football nope. game. No, I didn't. You missed, I think. Like two or three. Four. When did... Was I gone when Drew went on your podcast? I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm not sure. I can't remember. I don't know how I was thinking. It. No, I can't remember. I can't remember. Because I don't know when it was. When, like, why was he down? Well, I forgot how the we Baylor's were able to. Baylor's movie night, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe so. I can't remember. And then though. he was in town because I didn't go to Baylor's movie night. Surviving edged weapons. What do you think about that? Um, what do you think I your chances watch that are? One. It's pretty funny. Um, doesn't it depend on which script they use and where they stab you? Wait, what? Surviving edge weapons. Oh, um, really? Basically, 
in the movie it was if you if you get got you're done. Yeah, I was going to say if I get stabbed I'm probably going to die. Yeah. <laughs> but you if someone was to actually stab you, you think that the grip and the I, where yeah. they stab you, yeah, for I don't sure. Know. For sure. Yeah, I'd probably get good luck with a blood transplant since I donate blood pretty often, so they're like, all right, this guy, he's done it a few times. Yeah. We're going to give this guy big ups. Yeah. Do they, put, do they do priority like that? No, they don't do priority like that, but I feel like they would. Do you get that? <laughs> 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 yeah, maybe so. Maybe they would. Okay, do you think we should have Parker play the... Uh, the outro? Yeah. All right, Parker, count us out for the outro. Oh, wait, we should we give him the... Give him the... Oh, yeah, play. here's... Oh, Parker, do you have anything? Uh, I, I'd say we're we're good, we're definitely good on time. But if there's anything, any other topics of discussion that you would like to cover, oh, what are you guys doing on Thursday and Friday? Do you guys know what's happening? Uh, uh, Ethan actually doesn't have classes on what's Friday. The classes on Friday. What's <laughs> the move? Uh, um, Thursday is a big day for me. I have mm-hmm. all my classes. Was, all day. It's Wednesday for me. I would have classes on Wednesday night. That would suck. Mm-hmm. But now I just have the mural games in the evening. No more evening classes. No, you guys playing the mural? No, what do you play? Um, I played volleyball and basketball last semester. Oh, but nice. This nice. year we're playing hockey and soccer. That's what, Do you have like, the same group of. I play it with my. I played an intramural last year with people I met during Welcome Weekend. I played volleyball with them, and then basketball was with Gamma people. Okay. I, I really need to get more involved. I. Could yeah, get more involved, but I don't think I'm going to. But here's the thing. It would cut into my me time, which is, a, like, at least five hours a day. I see. <laughs> and it would cut into my procrastination time for doing homework. So. Uh, well, the thing is, when you're procrastinating, it doesn't really matter. It's not like you procrastinate for X amount of hours. You just procrastinate for as many hours as you have. Like, usually, I That's fill up my procrastination I... quota. I'm like, all right, I need to procrastinate oh. for two more hours. Oh, oh. see. I was just <laughs> like, some things you just want to wait until you can't do them any longer. Yeah. And not doing anything really doesn't have any appeal. It's just not doing that. Do you procrastinate, do you think? It depends. Well, what? And so there's things where I'll be productive the entire duration, mm-hmm. which normally you don't think of as procrastinating. Yeah. But the thing is, I'm doing things I'm doing, need to do way in advance. Okay. Just so I don't have to do, like, the essay I don't want to write up. Like, for instance, I might do finance homework, because mm-hmm. that's just easy. And then I'll do, like, two weeks worth of that, just so I don't have to sit write up the essay. And okay. So, like, I have the three hours or so where... You need to write up an essay in the end. I'd say my procrastination stems from not feeling like doing it. Oh. You know? See, mine, like, I definitely don't want to do it. Sometimes I don't, like, feel like I'd be able to until I have no more and time I, to waste, but... I don't know if this is, like, a mental block for me or something, but I feel like I can only get something done if I feel like doing it. Oh, see. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's probably just me putting... Putting uh, a block Artificial... Or, or, yeah, something up for yourself. Sometimes, That's though, funny. if you know that you are able to do it... It is very easy to feel mm-hmm. like there's no reason to do it until later, which is perfectly fine. Like, yeah. I can relax now or I can relax then. Yeah. And I know that I'd be more productive in the crunch time. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I come up with excuses for myself, like, especially with creative writing in my classes that I'm doing. I'll be like, oh, I don't have any inspiration right now, so I don't need to do anything. <laughs> but then, then three hours later... That's really funny. I'm like, well... I just don't feel like See, it. I don't really have to write essays besides, like, a psych reflection, mm-hmm. and I just, like, put that off. Like, yeah. I did, like, a little bit of work, like, had it outlined, so that way I would know exactly what I needed to do when it was crunch time. But I didn't really, like, do anything until the Sunday before the, like, Monday it was, Tuesday it was due. Mm-hmm. I don't think Ethan's a really big procrastinator. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't I procrastinate at all, barely. Because, like, in the end, if you're productive and you just schedule your time in a different way it's not bad yeah I, like some I, people might be like oh you'll be so stressed out putting that off till the end and doing everything else but it's like i do it the best that way and i get done what i need to get done yeah mm-hmm. then i know some people who like they yeah there's some TV people who can't and do it's like bro don't Bleh. <laughs> i actually hold a record in the storm room for uh longest time without doing my psychology recipe my psychology oh 
Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Points, points, research, Sona points, which was the oh, entire semester. Did you which have was the, the entire survey? Yes. Yeah, the surveys were super nice. Yeah, because you would just do them. Were I they would, easy? Every single week, I would be like, "All right, time to get on Sona." And <laughs> there was one worth sixteen points, and we needed thirty-two. I was, I was, okay, I was like that, except I was like, all right, time to not do Sona points. He didn't do a single oh, point. Oh, no, the but the semester. Sona points. I did, I did one. I did one. Oh, okay. And now you could either write up an essay, mm-hmm. you could do the surveys, or you could do research. Yeah. The research opportunities, they might have been fun. I did one that was terrible. What'd you do? Um, I didn't sign an NDA, so I'll tell you guys about it. Okay. So, um, you had to say either A, B, C, D, or one, two, three, just the entire time you did it. And then there would be a wheel of six colors, six squares, and each square would be a different color at a given time. Mm-hmm. And it would display the wheel of colors, display like a destructor square, and then you would have to, and then it would just, dis- and then it would highlight one of the squares in that wheel of six, mm-hmm. and you would have to tell if it's the same color as it was at the start or not. What were they trying to find out? It was just like a memory test, oh. and I think they wanted to see the effect of saying A, B, C, D, or like 1, 2, 3, mm. while you were doing it to see if it made you worse at memorizing stuff, because you had to multitask, obviously. Yeah. And it took like an hour, and the entire time I was saying A, B, C, D, and 1, 2, see. 3, and I was mildly <laughs> sick that day, so I felt like I was going to pass out from like exhaustion. How many credits did you get for it? Points. Eight. Out of 32. So like, not <laughs> that's bad. pretty good. But I got like 12 from doing a survey. 12 or 16. So it's <laughs> yeah, that's like... that's ridiculous. And then I was just able to do the surveys and that stuff. I never had to do a research paper. Yeah. I still got a C in that class, though. You only got a C in psych? Yeah. C Where did, the tests C's go get harder? Uh, the tests... Well, I didn't study for the tests. I kind of did. I always had a lot of fun going to class. So I'd go to class yeah. every time. Yeah. I, got, then, I went to class... I think I only missed once or twice. How big Maybe is your once. lecture for psych? Like 30 people. Oh, wow. Ethan, Ethan had 300? 400. 400? Yeah, like maybe 40 people. Wow. I'm trying to think. There I was... had 200. Ethan had 400. Yeah. So 12, 12, 12. Like six people. So maybe like 45, hmm. 40. It's hard to tell because that's the class people don't show up to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was the same for us. Uh, I, I don't know. I I could have. T- I totally could have studied, but I just don't know how to study. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I feel like when I try to study, I'm not getting any better. I go to class and then, because a lot of the ways how she it was like Mr. Jensen. You know how like you have certain teachers who have like Jensenisms, where it's like mm-hmm. you just have to know how they think about a certain way, and then you can read their questions. Not like reading. So you like get, you get like how the professor. You get like would. yeah, you get like a higher level understanding of how they would write up the questions, so you can read like what bad answers are. Yeah. What the right answer is. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those things, and that's just how I kind of felt like I went through psych. And it was also really easy. She would curve the tests if they were bad. We got like an extra credit point, and then th- we got like three points added every time without the curve. We got and the extra we, that was same with us. We got like two points added each time because one of the questions, if a bunch of people missed a question, and somebody gave a good reason for why it was worded poorly, then she'd give us the question. Yeah, well, that's kind of like a curve almost. Yeah, I think she, because there were, I think her mentality was it's impossible to either know everything, or to to be expected to know everything, or that one of the questions might be mediocre. Yeah. So that's why she just gave us three points. Ethan, Ethan went hard last semester um, with, with uh, art history. Yeah. That, uh, I, I couldn't even imagine doing that class. He had to memorize, like, 30 paintings each unit. Like, eight, no, it was, like, 80. 80? 80 yeah. each unit. Were they, like, icon- iconic ones, like the Salvador Dali ones? Or no. Were they... It was, like, this, okay, this is a something painted by a caveman. Oh, yeah. it's And not, here's another thing painted like, by a caveman. They had like, some this, things that were like, iconic. It's not like this is the persistence of memory. Memorize oh, yeah. it, and it's like, bro, everybody there's already some def- knows yeah, what the some persistence of memory is. Ones. Well, it, there was like eight, there'd be like 70 to 80 artworks, and then terms. 80 to 90 terms, which were like art, re- art related. Uh, uh, balance. Like, no, uh, like Doric, Doric, Ionic, um, Groinvolt. 
<laughs> Stuff like that. Speaking of class. What? I have class at five. Oh, right. shoot. Ethan, ha yeah, oh, Ethan has class in 28 minutes. All right. Now I should probably get going also because I said okay. 415. Jeez, so. I didn't even realize that, Ethan. Yep. No, that's All okay. right. It's I'll, good uh, to see you guys. I'll get there. Oh, wait, Parker, you got to count off, count us off in the yeah, All I'll right. Try. Five, four, three, two, one.